Look, Daddy, it's you. Let's go out to play, Daddy. is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head.
My husband is such a perfect idiot. Throws away all his spending money on jean tonics to affect a look of physical fitness. So he'll have an excuse to sit on his rear all day listening to radio serials. Steven, I tell him, you want to be fit? Come swim laps with me, the old-fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. such a long time, and Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. jockeys. You are under the ocean now. If you feel... Ah, at last a signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Please, find me in the Atlantic Express train station. Lesson one, mop jockeys. You are under the ocean now. If you feel the soft patter of rain on your hat, you're already fired. Lesson two, you can jumpstart a dead generator with a direct spark, but clear the guests out of the pool first. Scares these rich pricks to watch a working stiff hurling thunderbolts. You follow me? My daughter, Eleanor, soon you will be born, and Rapture will be your home. You shall be raised as I was, to advance the common good through social psychiatry. This city's potential is immeasurable, Eleanor, yet our beliefs are unwelcome here. Life will be difficult, but the price of revolution is always dear. If we are patient with her, Rapture will With come to us. For the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as leader, but as mother to the Rapture family. I am back in Rapture after so many years. The little ones I rescued are grown up, and think of me no more. 
After what I once did to them, it was a joy to be forgotten. But now, all around the world, children vanish by the sea, kidnapped. And so I return, in fear of what I already know. Someone is making new little ones, continuing my work, my sins. Even if I am to die for it, I must stop them. Barely made it down alive. But here it is. And it's real. Rapture. This is where that thing took my... my poor baby girl. From what I saw in the sub, most of the city's in ruins. But there were lights here and there. And shapes moving. Ugh, I'm rambling, scared, I guess. But maybe, if I find this Dr. Lamb hearing over the PA, I'll find Cindy too. Sophia Lamb with a message for the people. Remember, Big Sister is always watching. To steal Adam is to steal from the Rapture family. Your family. Diane insisted that we spend a weekend at the Adonis. And already I find myself seeking a respite from my vacation. But she deems it necessary to chide me for working. The words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I founded Rapture to be free of law and God. To live among those for whom work is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of bearing my child, Till now, I had never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year.
In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. Delta. You arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. Sophia Lamb. Andrew Ryan is dead, but the tyrant dwells within us all. Remember, we reject the gene. We reject the self. We reject the tyrant. I'm told that the people grow tense and isolated in the absence of the sun. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. Is the state censor, I wonder? 
wartime seizure of private assets? Or the Cheka police vanishing them in the night? Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. Fine. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. I know you. That symbol on your hand marks you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta, since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain, paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lamb. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Security cameras belong to Lamb, but if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. Eleanor, I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me.
Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. These people are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called Adam. I've read the word splicer scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me and Christ, his face! I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere, we both heard this... singing. And he took off like hell on wheels. It sounded like a kid. A little girl. Cindy's alive, I know it in my gut! You don't even have to look at the face. He won't even know you're there. White is not black, Dr. Lamb. Down is not up, and straw is not gold. Look around you. Rapture is no miracle. It is a product of reason. Impossible unless one and one are two, and A equates to A. And yet, alone. Each man is a prisoner to bias, dream, delusion, or the pain of a phantom limb. To one man, they are... I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny, one you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. White is not black, Dr. Lamb. Down is not up, and straw is not gold. Look around you. Rapture is no miracle. It is a product of reason. Impossible unless one and one are two, and A equates to A. And yet, alone, each man is a prisoner to bias, dream, delusion, or the pain of a phantom limb. To one man, they are as real as rain. Reality is consensus, and the people are losing faith. Take a walk, Andrew. It is raining in rapture, and you have simply chosen not to notice. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, fits of panic, sexual pathos, all responses to ancient selection pressure. 
The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain. <laughs> Quickly, head for the elevator. Gonna keep you in a box. what the children tell me. You are a very old big daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. Su Chong's death was a nasty blow to the Protector program, but I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again, but I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight, like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more, something stronger, an unbreakable physiological bond.
Lucy. This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for... for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins. And the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk... Citizens, Citizens of Rapture. rapture. This, this is Subject, is subject Delta. Delta. Behind, Behind that, that mask hides an enemy of the, of the people. people. Without, Without soul, soul or, sympathy. or sympathy. It is a it beast, beast apart. apart. And as, as family, family, we must we tear, tear out its jaw and, and drive it back into the sea. sea. Lamb will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. Thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this, but there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta, and good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor. Complete with iron horse. The name's Augusta Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Sophia Lamb has taken the rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure. And though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lem. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor, loyal not to her, 
but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, raptures full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Can you want to play again, Mr. B? Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. My lantern? <laughs> Turn off the light. Get yourself saved! No fuck-ups this time! Daddy's <laughs> home! Please, enjoy the park. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. A state-of-the-art submersible platform, nicknamed the Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. After initial supplies have been brought to the seafloor, 
The platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected cowboys. <laughs> I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into. Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusements. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! After the platform is secured, work progresses at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of rapture, workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. You're kind and welcome here. Oh, help! He won't listen! I know the surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there, in service of the common good. But then, I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. Picking through the trash for salvation. See, they can't know what. <laughs> Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help.
In ethical psychiatry, we must account for... <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mum says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. -dog. I wanted to see these dog-eaters, so I waited until Mum was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog-eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Now that Big Daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Daddy, are you taking me home too? We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. I found one of those children at last. Filthy dress, all alone. I approached her, praying that it was my little girl. But she was gorging herself on blood from a corpse. It wasn't her. I stared, just, just reeling. And then that skinny, armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped, but could Cindy have become one of those things? I've got to find her, now more than ever. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. That is a child of the family. Not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt. Are we 
going to be together again, Dad? Must be chopping my heirlooms for kindling. <laughs> now you know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. Why, hello there. My name is Andrew Ryan. I built the city of Rapture for children just like you. Because the world above had become unfit for us. But here, beneath the ocean, it is natural to wonder if the danger has passed. If those we left behind could ever come to their senses. So, let us imagine, you and I, what might befall us. On the surface. <laughs> Told you about this one. Make him listen. Three children. Yeah. You, you ain't her real dad. Oh, great. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. You for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. Oh, my God. 
Chief, we've almost got enough Adam now. Now, to get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. I've been rationing my supplies ever since the park got cut off from the rest of Rapture. Gotta stay strong. I'm holed up in this workshop, surrounded by those wailing brats, trying to beat their way in. They want my food, my guns. They want it all. But I got a plan. I'm gonna fix up the transport sub that's been rusting in the maintenance bay. Then I'm gonna get the hell out of this hole. These animals want rapture? They can have it. Lamb is becoming a problem. Woman's a damned collectivist. Here in Rapture, how could the council fail to see it? Worse, to hide her intent, she gulls these patients of old religious frenzy. A new Kremlin will rise and swallow the council house before they realize they've been had. I will not have my city swindled by the parasite. Whatever it's guys, it is time. I never used the belt on him or, or shout at him or nothing. I do everything right. Rapture is a paradise of the ego, Eleanor. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But truth, rather, is in the body. Already they grow weary of struggling against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent backs, the drawn faces. Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task to answer. The parasite makes nothing for itself. Its only tools are taxes and tithes meant to trick you into offering what it has not earned. In rapture, we keep what is ours? On the surface, the scientist invests the power of his mind in a single miraculous idea and naturally begins to rise above his fellows. But the parasites say no. Discovery must be regulated. It must be controlled and finally surrendered. strives to frame his ideals in an image, to challenge his audience and make his vision immortal. But the parasites say, no, your art must serve the cause. Your ideals endanger the people. The voice of seven <laughs>
lacking its own ingenuity. The parasite fears the visionary. But it cannot plagiarize, it seeks to censor. But it cannot regulate, it seeks to ban. Rapture was founded on an idea, and here they are held inviolate. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate.
I uh, met with Sinclair today of Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo-legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want to admit he has and make them go away. I could fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella <laughs> if he wasn't paying me not to. And he's got work for me, right? I ask what, and he flashes me these thousand-dollar Steinman teeth saying this job will, quote, change history. <laughs> for itself. The need of the parasite grows until war is made to justify it. Your parents brought you to Rapture where you need never fear the parasites again. So you see, there is no place for you on the surface. But you may bring the world to you. If you know someone who belongs in Rapture, write a letter to the Ryan Industries mailroom and you never know. The next new face might be familiar. I know this facility is vital to the preservation of secrecy and rapture, but seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand asking him what to and learn. He said his chores didn't seem so bad anymore, as long as mother wouldn't send him to the circus. Pile of junk. You to Edna. Everything you touch no turns to shit. Fun. No return. Typical fraud. No Stay no away from return. things you don't know nothing about. of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. We lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the little sisters. Something physical, possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them big daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills.
light up enemies to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spreads. Congratulations on your recent purchase of the incinerate plasmid. Say, Tom here is having a romantic evening with a gal. What would impress her more than lighting the fireplace with a snap of your fingers? Oh, a party! But this party just needs the skids. Carl needs a light for his cigar, and no one can help him. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit carny ride. He never even came to Rapture. He heard me sing at the limbo room. Came up all bashful. He liked hearing songs about what it's really like to live in this town. I think he's been trying to organize folks against Ryan. And now he's gone. And I'm here. Singing Rise, Rapture, Rise. Scared to death they're gonna come for me. Outstanding sport. You're proven to be quite windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places.
I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face? Lem was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn city-wide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. Eternity be hot or cold. I wonder. I'll bring my shirt. I remember you, monster. You stole Eleanor from me. Twisted that baby girl into a thing so sick it can't even die. And now you come swanning into my neighborhood looking for me. Wrong turn, Tin Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, I want you to remember my face. Rights, Doctor. You're free to kneel before whatever tribal fetish you favor in the comfort of your own home. But in rapture, liberty is our only law. A man's only duty is to himself. To imply otherwise, therefore, is criminal. Ask yourself, Andrew. What is your great chain of progress but a thing? The chain is a symbol for an irrational force guiding us towards ascension. 
No less mystic than the crucifixes you seize and burn. My folks lived in the St. Louis Hooverville in 32, and the drop is worse by a mile. Nobody's supposed to live down here, city pissing on us. Never try. 
Brian doesn't care and Fontaine's a damn crook. But Dr. Lamb cares. We're still people to her. She's offering free mental counseling on Sundays. When I go, I get the feeling she's got a plan for Rapture. And for me. No one ever gets any older. Papa's dropped the worst Piss neighborhood the in Rapture, attention. but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some money. Well, Sport, I guess Gracie's home, but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. Someone's sneaking up. 
Little bird's mine now, squire. A monster has taken another of our children, family. He would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor. Show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our garden.
they expect? You keep enough drug stash in this clinic to spice up a rhinoceros, of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner. Old Papa's drops the worst neighborhood in Rapture. But it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some, uh, affordable housing. When Atlantic Express was constructing their luxury passenger line, this place was hollowed out beneath as flop houses for the railway crew. Nobody was supposed to reside down here long term, but when you're broke in this town, you're not exactly swimming in alternatives. I don't favor spending more than an hour or so down here at a time. There ain't a side of the tracks more wrong than under them.
That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Easy now. Looks like you got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording him, then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. My portfolio! That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take him out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh.
This lamb woman's powers of manipulation are almost scary. Her people are using the girls from the surface to gather Adam from Lamb's followers. It's in the blood. And eventually they give themselves over. Like dying is an honor. I'd almost feel sorry for them if they didn't have my daughter. I'm going to find Lamb and take Cindy back one way or another. Without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie, and that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it. Look at you, Sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. You must find me. Hypnotize your foes. Laugh as they fight each other. Close down the limbo. 
bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown and everybody panics, pulls their money out of the banks, a whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold, and maybe one in ten got their savings out. <sighs> Who's gonna come here me nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor? Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan, was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? <laughs> <laughs> you can't take my purse! Never! Sometimes the rosies spill all over everywhere. I'm trying to Welcome, they says. They got big promises. Salvation, immortality, a way out of here. I don't care how crazy it sounds. A way out of raptures, music to my ears. Next Sunday morning, I'll be there. Angels remember now, Paris, I'm trying to kill me. Get away! I'll scream!
I do hope in eternity there will be time to pick Sophia's brain a bit. You animal! I've wits on my side! Shadows won't hide you for long. Oh, don't worry, darling. They'll be back. Please, take this man away! Do you remember what you told me, Bill? A marketplace of ideas. That was you. If I submit to the debates with Lan, we defang her. I've done so. And have you been to Popper's Drop, Bill? Listen. Between each song, these Zoblomovs hand out a manifesto. Her face adorns every wall. Saint Lan. You made her, McDonough, and now you will convince the Council to sponsor her silence. Heidi, hold me near, Daddy. Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. No, it's wrong. 
wrong to feel so fine right now, but I can't seem to quit this grin. Dr. Lamb came to tell me that Ryan's finally going to lock her up. It's going to gut the believers, and I should feel the same. But Sophia remembered that I, that I was barren, and she asked me to take care of her baby while she's gone. Baby Eleanor Lamb. Gorgeous, clever little girl. I have a child now, and it's going to put the whole world on right. Just headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. shouldn't give me such a lift, monster. But I'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor. I'll take my joy where I can. Blood divides us, monster. It's blood that makes us strangers. But thanks to Dr. Lamb, we're all family now. One people, one cause. You can stop this heart, bleed this old body, but you cannot end. And as for you, Tin Daddy, 
You're dying alone. Now, I'm a modest man, but my piecemeal needle scam's an outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bump! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the... ...skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. I'm a modest man, but my piecemeal needle scam's an outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about a great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Another day waiting for Harry to come home. Told him not to speak up against Mr. Ryan's policies, and now he's missing. Just never came home. I went by the bookstore, and all his books are gone too. I don't know what to do. Now I have to deal with that awful Sinclair just to have a roof over my head. The blue morpho bounces off the glass as I watch. I. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. The blue morpho bounces off the glass as I watch. I fold these paper effigies as secret badges for the faithful. The Morpho Caterpillar doesn't spin a cocoon. It just grows armor on the inside before the change. It is us. To wear a butterfly is to support Dr. Lamb and the family. Before long, Rapture will split wide and take wing. Imago is coming. And that's a hundred. What a snap. Give Sinclair a few bucks for a load of vials and needles, 
Then it's evenings putting these syringes together while I listen to the radio. We both we died both tonight, died. monster. Where's, where's the price? Uh, what because racket. your kind you has killing in its nature. About. And I'll you, back on because there's no, no way the family, family will let you, let you stroll, stroll out of... I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. What are you doing? Come on, you goddamn monster. Do what you always do. Come on! To hell with you, then. Come on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirlybirds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now.
Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Hear me, O oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God! Ye shall never reach her God! Kid, come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft, and yet you cling to life. Congratulations. Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death, and for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. <laughs> of a servant waits for word. I have followed the letter of the Holy Mother Lamb, though she will not tell me the day of your return. I watched as you smote down the false father, Andrew Ryan, who tempted us away from your radiant gaze. But you would not speak to me, Lord. I have built for you this great temple and gathered your flock, yet still you were silent. Will you not strike me, poor brother blind? so he may at last behold your glory, as was done to Paul on the road to Damascus. I am alone, Lord, alone, and waiting for a sign. Oh, 
the beast of Ryan lives! Gather the family! <laughs> <laughs> Mother of mercy, I think that was Simon Wales. What's he done to himself? He and his brother were Rapture's architects, but when Doc Lamb came along, Simon got religion. He's got a kind of church down in the pumping station. Expect a reckoning when you arrive.
Get him, Daddy. Let's get it. Angel is on the inside. Adam inside.
of sister loss has become unacceptable as big daddies are brought down like elephants under a pack of hyenas. In response, we've begun production of a newly designed big daddy model, nicknamed the Rumbler. He launches high explosive munitions to disperse groups of splicers, followed by miniature automated turrets to mop up the stragglers. Our tests find that the Rumbler's performance is highly effective, if messy. In Rapture's arms race, splicers aren't the only ones that are evolving. Who's the you think I was dragging on? Hey, what's it now?
Cake, baby! Cake! Listen, my supplier's got a new shipment of plasmids coming in, and I need you to pick them up from the lab in Hedon Plaza. There's a hidden switch to open the back door. It's tucked away under the cash register in the shop front. And don't let nobody see you do it. Otherwise, we'll have splices crawling all over the damn place trying to get a taste. about girls, baby? Weak! Ah, this girl's tougher than you! Well, face me, really! I think Mother knows I'm helping you like this. She's accelerating my treatments. Don't give up on me. Trick, the 
the security system. Divert bots, turrets, and cameras to attack where you choose. Send friendly bots on errands. Looks like the good fathers kept up with the code locks. Time was, only way to join with Doc Lamb was to beg an audience with him first. Must be some sign of that number lying around. See if you can find us a lead. Daniel, you and I drafted Rapture's blueprint together. Wales and Wales, architects. Do you remember? But Andrew Ryan led us astray, my brother turned us from the Almighty. Dr. Lamb offers you salvation, Daniel. I ask only for proof that the barest flicker of faith remains in you. I left a gift for you at the Pink Pearl in your offices. Find the code on it, brother. We shall pray together for your sorry soul. I've got the maddening notion that I owe you my life, stranger. Such as it is. I'm sending you a care package to the Numo along the way. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Dr. Lamb. Twenty bills, and I'm oh, all oh, yours, oh, sailor. Oh, great! Um, twenty bucks for um, anything I want, right? <laughs> of 
fine by me. Uh, what the hell? The Pearl was among the ritziest lodgings in Rapture, but during the war, the residents put themselves up for sale. Daniel's office is on the top floor, I believe. Blast it, Simon! So Rapture leaks! Crying about it's only gonna add to the surplus of moisture, in it? Nothing's to say it's our design! But Simon goes to see Dr. Lamb anyway, beset by guilt, because we can't find another contract. Then he comes out the other side, saying he's always wanted to take the orders. He's Father Simon Wales now. If I ever see that Sophia Lamb in the street, I'm gonna give her the back of me feckin' hand, and a knot on the head besides. wanting me to splice up in the act. Says it'll heighten it for both of us. <laughs> I said, honey, I ain't doing it for the heights. I'm doing it for the scratch. Besides, Danny would have a fit if I started needling. He does it himself, of course. But what's good for the gander gets the goose thrown off the drop. Right here. See it go? Angels remember mommy. Who is that? It's just a little pent sturdy angel. Nobody hurt my daddy!
the Adam Daddy over there. Are you Simon's boy? <laughs> well, here's my peace offering. Welcome to the peace second pearl, sweetheart. That has to be Daniel. Hunt him down and pin his ears back, kid. Brother sends you now, a metal fucking handyman. and I designed cathedrals together. But I was the black old sheep back there. 
Never believe in a word of the Jesus bollocks myself. Then, Andrew Ryan says he wants Wales and Wales for rapture. A cathedral with no God, befitting the ascent of man. Now I'm running girls, and Simon thinks he's saving souls. Father Wales. Ha! Ah, can you believe I share a womb with such a slap? <coughs> Lamb's got your arse over tit. Psycho? <laughs> and here's a dozen dead <laughs> dogs for ya! Daddy's mad and you'll be sorry! Oh, you're just getting... <laughs> within us, yet beyond us. Daniel Wales lacked it. Father Simon Wales does not. The faithful do not die in fear as you did. We achieve martyrdom. Ah, now through this junction is the rest of the alley, including the very pump the station we are after. Father Wales has been recruiting holy rollers down there for lamb.
It cut the power on you. You're stuck till the backups kick in. I'll help you hold them back. Check the new mode. Know this beast. Daniel's body may go cold, but his soul rests with the child of the lamb. You shall roast and blacken in the pit, and it'll be a grieving brother sent you there. I think you're closing in on Simon's underground temple. Now get down to pumping station number five and drain out the park here. Oxygen's running thin in this train car, and I'd sure hate to see our partnership cut short. Ask yourself, Delta. You, who have suffered beyond measure at the hands of men like Ryan, what is the cost of paradise? To end pain, to end sin, what must we pay? Eleanor is my answer. <laughs> Let's get it! 
facility, Fontaine Futuristics. I've got to find it. I've heard the splicers mumbling that Alexander is the ferryman. Bond is a success. If somehow an Alpha Series wanders too far from his little sister, our physical failsafe kicks in. A chemical trigger that induces coma. It is a symbiotic relationship enforced by the girl's pheromone signature. The first successful candidate was Delta, I believe. It is unfortunate that poor Dr. Su Chong will not be here to raise a glass.
minds in the world, united under the ocean, yet somehow expected to subscribe to the same model of self-interest. Ryan could be staggeringly naive. As individuals, no matter how brilliant, each was a prisoner to his or her own ego, a sea of dreams in constant flux. But in Adam, their genes remain, ready to be tested against a moral vessel. Utopia cannot precede the utopian. It will exist the moment we are fit to occupy it. Yeah. I'm all alone here, Mr. Diary. You're my whispering friend. A doctor keeps coming to see me. He says Rapture needs me, and tomorrow I'll be leaving with him. I ask why, and he just smiles. I'm not an orphan. Mom's alive somewhere, and Aunt Gracie is still probably looking for me. But I can't wait for them. I'm going to escape and find Amir. And we'll steal a submarine. Before it's tomorrow, I'll know what sunshine feels like.
Longer. Charge up and put them on ice. Warning, colds are catching.
Our souls shall pass into her holy blood and will be reborn as a single immaculate body. animal was a slave to the gene, the inner tyrant. Lust, greed, rage, self-obsession was etched into our DNA. We were not pulling the great chain of progress, as Ryan believed, but shackled to it. But now, in theory, we can redraft the human blueprint. Serving the common interest can become as natural as breathing. The tyrant will simply go extinct. Andrew Ryan left us wandering, confused and alone amongst yesterday's wreckage. But Sophia Lamb shows us that we are not alone. We are together as a family. So when you see a man brought to his knees, recognize that he is your children. brother. And it wears a hide of iron. Sophia and Lamb's hands are death. What is in common is good. It would seize the child from us, right. and with her, she guides us all. Itself. The indivisible, be ye soldier of the ground, or angel of the sky, we must stand fast and send it howling we shall back be to hell. Be born.
pump control ought to be in the back. One thing, though. Once you transfer the suction to Dionysus Park, we've got a tiny window of opportunity to get you inside. I don't have much air left, but I'll hang in there. You make sure you're ready before you throw that switch. for control of a dead man's dream. The city is nothing. Rapture must die so that Elena may rise from its body. Allow me to demonstrate. Lambs overloading the pumps. The place is coming down. Get to Dionysus Park. Subject Delta, I want you to commit this moment to memory for me. This howling, brutish slog through the dark. This is who we are. Get out of there, kid! Is the world for which you strive. You, alone among the dead.
Dionysus Park was owned by Sophia Lamb, Chief. Sort of a private retreat for her social experiments. One night it flooded, killing all her guests. Paper said it was cult-related. Come on up to the train station. Let's rendezvous. Oh my, yes. 
If you enjoy slime and muck, it's utterly divine. Oh, bloody fucking die. Listen, princess, next time you eat out of the trash, I want you to think of me. A lady is <laughs> Well, the good news is I've located a new train car, but the station's still locked down, and we're not alone in here. I see a shadow in the security booth. I'll lay low while you have a gander. Oh, hello, boys. The name's Stan Poole, Rapture Tribune. Quality paper. <laughs> before the locals stopped reading and started finding uh, other uses for it. Anyway, I'm uh, looking to cut a deal, fellas. Come by the train station. I'm here in the booth. Donna, listen. There's a hell of a structural flaw here in Dionysus Park. A leak in the primary drainage pipeline could flood this whole joint. Faulty pressure locks would seal in every sorry soul. One clumsy big daddy knocks open the wrong pipe and, hey presto, Lamb's little art show turns into Fish City. God forbid the wrong element finds out. But I heard your mind. You, you were thinking about Ready taking it off for yourself. Why are you going away off into? Ridiculous! Don't just let us lead. Say something! <laughs> Dionysus Park was my home, Delta. An experiment in social unity cut short by human folly. You dishonor its memory with every step. Now that, see, Lamb knows you're here, but uh, I'm incognito. Thing is, since you drained out the park, the little sisters are already starting to uh, nose around, looking for Adam, and uh... <laughs> I can't have that. Why do you hide from
I don't know. <laughs> Take this father and hurry. Mother can't hear this, but she's... She's looking right at me. And her face. Away and feel I'm... Okay, so dead men tell no tales, right? <laughs> Wrong. See, with Adam involved, every stiff's got a story. And Lamb knows how to read it. If that stuff makes it back to her, I'm an obituary. So, I want you to take the story of Dionysus Park and bury it. Get rid of the little sisters for me. Your way. Do that, and I'll unlock the station here. <laughs> Scout's honor. Well, I'd say he's hiding something, but he sort of took the fun out of that one. He's locked in the security booth, however, so we'll have to play along. Find those sisters.
she is. Little Tyke wants to be in pictures. Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her. See? You put it to work, and all that Adam ends up in you. But you're sort of a silent partner, so that's tops with me. Here's the angel. As a religion, 
they merely monitored us. But as a commune, they would see us crucified. And yet, though he will be the last to see it, Andrew Ryan has already lost the people. Wherever I am sent, the rapture will follow. taken away, Stanley was left in charge of Dionysus Park. He spent all her money through these mad parties. It was like he was trying to ruin her. You okay there? Keep your eye on the brass ring, brother. Find the rest of the sisters. Subject Delta's just a serial number, amigo. I did a lot of digging on you for a feature once. They used to call you Johnny Topside. Found the city all on your own in a diving bell. Real shame what they did to you. You mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no other... for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks.
Awareness of self is no miracle, Elena. It is a trick of the gene, an endless inner refrain asking, what's in it for me? To serve the world, we must grow deaf to the self. Are you ready? Now, stop listening to my voice. Stop listening. Stop. Difficult, isn't it? Human verbal cues are defensive coloration, camouflage. Play this recording until you no longer hear the words. Then you may observe the people for who they are. Common for the common good. Ready to take your betters? <laughs>
There she is. Get her. I hope that bodyguard ain't one of your long lost. Adam is Rapture Delta, the finest minds of paradise in a single sublime mosaic, Eleanor. Consider the genius you deny her with every stolen drop. Dirty hair. Dirty hair. Hand me that child now! How are you? You ain't a real dad! Why not? <laughs> 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 
me there. I confronted Stanley. Said I'd tell mother what he had done. He panicked. Took me away and sold me to an orphanage. I'm trying to fight back. I remember biting his hand, but... Father, he's the reason I was turned into a little sister. You were just a deep sea explorer with iron cojones, pal. The public. Gave it a nickname. But Ryan was sure you were a spook. So his people locked you up. Erased your damn name. Goodbye, Johnny Topside. Hello, Subject Delta. When all this is over, and we're divvying up Rapture's bounty, you and I'll be holding court on a private island, son. Think of it. Each world power on bended knee, holding a bouquet made of money. The girls you've saved from Mother want to thank you. Check the Gatherer's Garden. Ryan's goons are sweating me to prove this place is a closet commune. But I need time. Lamb's kid keeps staring me down like she knows that I'm a phony. I keep thinking of Johnny Topside, though. It took real guts to find Rapture like he did. It makes it easier not to crack if I sort of imagine that I'm him. 
It's a good thing I can't tell Lamb that, though. She'd probably say I got a secret need to talk to his own rooms and make a wild whoopee or something. Traps for unsuspecting enemies. Lure your foes into deadly ambushes. Upgrade your traps with plasmid power. Try out many combinations. Summon a swarm of insects. Laugh as they seek out hidden enemies. Release a nastier swarm. Snicker as they seek out one enemy after another. Daddy, over there. Here it is. 
You're stealing! I know it! Let's fix your face, baby! Mother's followers turn into animals. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him. So he found a way to silence them all. And now he's trying to cover it up. That's it. Now all that old dirt stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on back. I've unlocked the train for you. But remember, if Lamb catches you... <laughs> Mum's the word. Our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men that you are not to suffer. I accept full responsibility for any anger you may experience before you die.
Buck Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Through Adam, Eleanor will become the daughter of the people. A true utopian. Brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. Subject Delta, I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here, and had forgiven him, but in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! Think she just let me hang myself out the Oh god! No, no, no. Come on, pal! The, 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 the train's ready! Just just let me live! Mother's not lying this time, Father. He really did it. To both of us. This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. This facility belongs to the city now, to Ryan Industries, at least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone, Lamb is gone, or close enough. I am alone at last, alone with my city.
October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Stand by. What's this? I said 
grocery vouchers for you? <laughs> Delta, eh? You're one of our old protectors, yes? You're a fine product, Delta. Oh, yes, fine product. Built to last. Say, don't look now. But I believe one of your old colleagues wants to welcome you back to the office. Hello again. I... I have been exposed to a massive dose of substance, Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses en masse. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that if I could have done it myself... Ah, and on that cheery note, you may use the diary lying near this screen to bypass the vocal print locks ahead and enter the security office. The password is Agnes Day. Agnes Day. Jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. Unerringly. In a way, 
This sad thing, this half-man, had escaped the self. Highly intelligent, but devoid of so-called free will, with all its convenient blind spots. What if he had been instructed to uphold the common good? What if he were a volunteer? Speaking. It's been many years since my last diary. Mother found a way to rehabilitate me psychologically, but she can't remove this, this thing inside my body. I look in the mirror, and I see a freak. I remember very little. Just an artificial sense of peace and a compulsive hunger for Adam. Dr. Alexander is trying to help me adjust. I designed that device, Delta. You fumble at it like an amorous baboon! He's Angel. Angel. Angel shine. Adam shine. See 
the light in my tummy? something, kid. Some kind of pirate relay doohickey keeping security under his spell. Find the rest of those and vandalize them directly.
Anyone in the plasmid business ultimately requires the use of human test subjects. It's our dirty little secret. And to be frank, Rapture doesn't really want to know, provided the end product is sound. The volunteers were scarce, even as the economy buckled. A man named Sinclair approached us with a seemingly limitless supply. He uh, rented them to us, bound and sedated. No questions asked.
ready. Carry on. Somebody. Hey. <laughs> search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? <laughs> looks upon the world, saying, all of this is mine, and by force or guile, he makes it so. To the tyrant, the whole of creation is held in the relative, sun and moon revolve for him alone. For the tyrant, even justice is whimsy. He alone is fit to weigh, to measure, and to cut up. This calls everything into question. Even as I record this, I can scarcely believe. Psychiatry has been my continual study to chart consciousness in all its strata. But intelligence does not require introspection. The son of Ryan was more effective than all his self-aware rivals. He lived without questions. I could end the self and save the world. Of all the... Ugh. Here's what you get. This I'm makes exposed. fun.
No family, no friends, no country, only slaves chained in his wake. To his fellows, he asks, of what use are you to me? Those who love him are his subjects, for the tyrant accepts only worship or fear. Our hope was to bond a little sister to a single protector, so she had to be expendable in case of error. As we were fabricating a father bond, we couldn't really afford to have the girl's parents asking around. So, Fontaine's orphanage is provided, and the procedure was an unprecedented success. If I had only known who the child was, Eleanor, I'm so sorry. jab in the arm and even a hopeless underperformer can be employee of the month. Or oh, you should know. Look around. Is any of this familiar? The rapture consumer is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mark, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. <laughs> Only a single volunteer? Oh, come now. 
now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Come on down, all of you! upstaged a fellow demonstrator, and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? Without you, and to think you were so spliced you couldn't stand, we stuck you into that get up. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a team, my boy. Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, now, uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where, where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it.
As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. via the Adam we have gathered. And, deriving in part from Project WYK, I have developed a new set of behavioral constraints. Dr. Alexander will live to promote the common good. His love and loyalty shall be spread evenly across the entire human race. For me, that is discipline at great personal cost. For him, at last, it will be instinct. Sophia believes the perfect human altruist is just a formula waiting on us to solve for X. Intelligence and consciousness are not the same, she argued. Awareness of self naturally becomes obsession with it. So, if we could suppress my sense of self, but imbue me with the cognitive capacity to serve the common welfare, we could thereby generate the first utopian. And then, Sophia said, at long last, utopia would follow. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds, a willing subject, that is to say, myself. Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. I see you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it.
Well, listen, son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down, find those plants he mentioned, and lure him back out. the end of the Alpha series. The pair bond simply worked too well. That madwoman Tannenbaum bit the company hand, turning some of the bonded sisters human again. Others were lost to splices. Either way, the trauma proved too much for the bonded protectors, resulting in unreasoning rage or coma. We can harness their suicidal aggression as foot soldiers, but no more, I'm afraid. Today, I saw one kneeling near a gatherer's garden and crying. you running around the laboratories in your condition. Marching around, playing daddy, until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then, if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor, on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why? Come on, Mr. Beast. Where the angels dancing?
sticky top. She was not meant to have a father, Delta. She was to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her, bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room. Taking me home too?
got our eldest sister through a new regimen of physical and mental conditioning and suited her up with modified protector equipment of my design. The younger ones have dubbed her a big sister. Sadly, this is a stopgap. Between rogue splicers and the aging of the girls, we'll run out of viable little sisters soon. After that, the service may be our only source. Time to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. his will to die, Delta. To serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. 
Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library. What? Step away!
This, this 
bribe, this penance, this sublime. God damn you, Delta! <laughs> Perfect, son. You reeled him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you would administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. Eleanor's condition may be a blessing in disguise. Early splicing tests indicate zero genetic damage due to her condition as a little sister. It appears that she is our new vessel. This will be no mere personality schism, though. Rapture's genius will be held within her DNA, able to shift into desired patterns at will. A utopian cannot be confined to a single throw of the genetic dice. When needed, she is a composer, a dancer, an engineer. She truly will be the people's daughter. Persephone, we're finally here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture dying to keep you two apart. Oh. 
Persephone, secret home of Sinclair Solutions. I bet against Andy Ryan's vision of harmony and rapture, offered him a quiet place to send anybody who wasn't working out, and now I'm sitting on my own private think tank. Technically, Utopia shouldn't have much use for a detention facility, but if you do business as long as I have, well, you learn to pick a brand name from the writing on the wall. That's her, son, Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. Warning. Quarantine seal disengaging. Please stand by. How will she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. And take heart, for you, at least, have escaped your legacy. Chambers waiting on you. Get in there. You'll see the thing. I can see or hear a thing. Look at her, Delta. Ten years, and still she dreams of you. Fifty seconds remaining. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. And she has been watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster, shaped by you alone, just as she has always wanted. Twenty seconds remaining. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. His 
body is shutting down now, naturally. But if he dies of trauma, he will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now, or worse. But I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. feels a bit strange, Father, but now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go. This is how I brought you back without Mother catching on. Now, first, let's get you out of here. She's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there. within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. What Mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change to be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big sister suit. Please, bring them to me. Eleanor is changing as Delta draws closer. In her sleep, she mutters about having witnessed moments from his journey here. She is beginning to resist the moral conditioning. Eleanor's bond with Delta is turning her from the daughter of the people back into a rebellious child whose voice I do not recognize. Worse, I suspect Eleanor of direct involvement in his return. I fear that to separate them, I may have to, to take measures for which I will be Unable to forgive myself. Get over here, you goddamn puppet! <laughs> suit in here, Father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. Ten years, Father. Stuck in this, this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius. 
serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. But Mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the New Little Sisters. I don't just empathize with them. I can control them directly. The other sisters are made from me, in part. As they grow up in rapture, I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their father because of me. been quarantined, but Mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the New Little Sisters. I don't just empathize with them. I can control them directly. They are my hands and my eyes now. Better yet, we have found Father's body and took a gene sample. The girls are hiding the samples inside those dolls we used to make. Only a matter of time before I work out a way to rig one of those Vita chambers to seek his genetic signature. And then, I can't wait to see Mother's face. Mother was right about one thing. I have been watching you, Father, studying the way you have treated others, and now I know who I am. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one, and it gave me hope for the first time in years. Now, I will do the same for all the others, starting with this one. We've done it, Father. I'll be there soon. These suits always did make me think of you, Father. I guess I still remember you in shining armor. But now it's my turn to fight for you. Take this plasmid. You can use it to call me to your side in a fight. Summon the big sister to fight by your side. Warning, nothing lasts forever. work. 
and with it, my only daughter. But Rapture is the house of monsters. The surface will not have us. And now, we shall be buried as a family, side by side. Oh God, she's going to drop this building into the trench. It's miles deep. We have to find Sinclair. This one just try and keep me away from my sisters. Who's next? Upstairs, Father. Quickly. This is Sinclair's lifeboat, Father. Out the window here. It's our only chance of escape. From what I know of Sinclair, he wouldn't just abandon it. Yes, Delta. What of Sinclair? The man who would sell paradise. And where is he now? Warning. Warning. A security curfew is now in effect. All cells and bulkheads are sealed until further notice. This facility hangs over an ocean trench delta. The family has activated timed charges within its foundations. Surrender before detonation, or we shall fall and be crushed in the abyss below. Mother has locked all of Persephone down, including the gangway leading to the lifeboat. We can reverse it from the holding wing if we hurry. Come on! Use the plasmid if you need me, Father. I'm going to have a look around. Subject Delta has escaped. Helena Lamb has turned on her own people. Stand and fight, or the Rapture family falls together. and expired enemies awaiting further prey. you out of rapture, Father. It's the only way I can save you now.
series, ready to die for the family. As Persephone's former owner, he is the ideal man to put you back in your cage. Mother's controlling Sinclair father, and he's got the master key. Catch him! Kid, lamb's in my head. I, I can't help myself have to fight just to talk. Left me my goddamn tongue to torture the bomb codes out of me. She wants me to stop you leaving. I... I'm sorry. by now I'm the world's foremost expert at breaking her rules. I've made my choice, father, and if needs be, I'll die for it.
Wars. Kid, I'm sorry. I, I've locked you in here. Lamb's making me dance on her goddamn strings. I can't stop. You're gonna have to break in here and, and put me down. Wish there was another way, but I'd rather die a man than live like this. Come on, he's right, Father. Mother's betting you'll die in here or that I'll abandon you before the bombs detonate. We can't save Sinclair now. We need that key from him. Find the code to the watchtower or work out a way to draw him out. you out to those plasma trials up at Fontaine. And now, now I'm paying for it. Wish I had time to make amends. Take the lifeboat. It, it's all yours. Just don't leave me like this. Eleanor's gift to you. And with each decision, you twisted her into your own image. Sinclair has no such choice. Yet in its absence, he serves the world unerringly. He is now the better man. Hey, Murphy. It's Dodge. A little baby told me... You found out the Warden's code. Send a message to my cell in Block A, telling me where you hid the code. And I'll consider your debts paid. The Warden's ignored my warnings for far too long. I'm taking this into my own hands. I secured a hack tool to nullify his turrets and subvert the bots. I also figured out the code. It's two, six, but <laughs> That's the full code, kid. You've done it now. Now just come on in here and put me down easy. Oh, 
Sinclair is moving, Father. Track him down. We need that key. You. <coughs> so long, kid. Now, Father, I'm afraid that ending the lockdown means releasing all the prisoners. So please, be ready before you use that key on the override switch. family, Delta. Was he a friend to you, or just a tool? Can you even grasp the difference? And Eleanor, you have chosen Subject Delta over your mother, your people, and the duty of your birth. So be it. You believe this craft will carry Delta to safety, like a spoiled child with a new toy. I have no choice but to take it away. Curfew lifted. All cell blocks open. All bulkhead seals released. Oh no. Mother's turned her attention to the lifeboat. We must go there, now! further from me, Delta. Soon, this father obsession will end her. You have left me without want. Before you die, I will take all that you hold dear. Sinclair is just another body in your wake. Precious Lamb of God. Hold it, you! <laughs> ah! Hey, fool! Come on, hide!
looks like Sinclair's been ousted. He wasn't slick enough to avoid the boot this time, but at least it wasn't a firing squad. Lamb proved she's got the ear of the general population down here, so it'd probably be prudent to play along for a while, see where this goes. She says she'll let me keep my little fiefdom here in holding, as long as I agree to help supply her therapy sessions. <laughs> no qualms there. These sorry buggers could use some rehabilitation. <laughs> I was afraid of this. Mother has bombed out the ballast compressors, Father. The lifeboat will be too heavy to launch. Unless... Let me think. I think I can boil away the water and get the lifeboat to rise. But I can't generate that much heat alone. It's time to recruit the rest of Mother's little sisters. We're taking them with us. Head to the pediatric wards. I won't let her take you from me again, Father. Hold on! Not a sermon. I will offer no insight. Every word I speak, you already know. Mother's people are starting to detonate the charges. We don't have long.
Utopia. Said aloud, it evokes heaven on earth. Yet the word means both good place and no place. An ideal, unreachable. Even in the naming of it, we refuse to believe. We're almost to the pediatric ward. I expect we'll be fighting our way inside. Driven always to want more, no matter how much we have. It is among the grandest of human ironies that our very drive to find utopia has kept us from abiding there. always said, I shouldn't be allowed to wander the city in my condition. But without going outside, it's harder to hear much about the world. So I'm learning at home. This, I think, is our porcelain tea service in the style of Louis XV. Isn't that right? Now, that's a fascinating sound. And this is called a stained glass window. Handcrafted by your adoring flock. They've gone to a lot of trouble to capture your likeness, haven't they? Leave me alone, you fuckers! I know, I know! Things aren't so rosy for Lamb's little collective farm down here, no matter how much influence she's got with the inmates. She keeps feeding Ryan more and more of her people for the Big Daddy program in order to keep the rest of her flock alive. I think she's getting desperate. I ought to have Weir double the orderlies on all the major junctions. I remind you, Sinclair, that Lamb is your problem now. She's no longer a citizen of Rapture. That was the proviso. You wanted her expertise, and now you have it. Ryan Industries is your client, and we require test candidates from among your charges. The protectors are short. Lamb would be a messiah, correct? Well, sell her a sacrifice to save the flock. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal. Push the call button on the window there. And then I'll proceed. No war in heaven starts here. Accept these words. Come back! Oh. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I'll wake the children up. They're stronger than they know. With their help, I should be able to boil off the water and get us all out of here. Go on ahead, Father. I'll free them as quickly as I can, just as you showed me. No matter how pure your intent, the surface is not paradise, but perdition. I would sooner see them drown. I will smile and act as such. Congratulations. You have just experienced the illusion of free will. Look, Father, I know you may not have wanted a daughter, but love is just a chemical. We give it meaning by choice. I will be damned if I let Mother take you away from me again. The plasmid, Father, just point the way and I'll help you fight. The gene is the enemy. Yes, me, oh Lord. Oh, Father. Hallelujah. Father. Charge gone. We have to keep moving. If this building falls, we're all dead.
Eleanor was to be a composite of all Rapture's genius. The first living utopian, serving the world at large with no regard for herself. To force consciousness on such a being is to tear its wings away. That was your gift to her, Delta. Just as she hoped. You must be very proud. <laughs> Delta was in top form today. The guards tried to make him take another dose of whatever the hell it is they're pumping into him, and he managed to take on all four of them at once. Snapping legs and arms, blood everywhere. They say one of the guys might not even wake up. I wish I could be that free. Steady, father. Don't let go now.
the girls managed to dart past the nurse today and throw herself over the railing in the lobby. Not certain if she was trying to end her own life or, or merely escape. But either way, her legs had healed by the time I managed to get down to the first floor where she lay. Now, without proper setting, the rapid healing process had fused her bones back together at odd angles. We had to re-break and set them almost a dozen times, each into the small window of viability. Now, those children may be immortal, but I can dare They feel pain. Advising Dr. Lamb on higher doses of sedatives to keep this from happening again. Guide my hand! <laughs> you ain't natural! Fight Fiddler! You're in for it! when Dr. Lamb gave me my mandate to alleviate pain was to block its neural pathways. Now, the preliminary results were promising too, until some of the children started chewing their own tongues off out of ignorance. Need to sequester them away from the others so as not to cause undue stress on the remaining subjects. We're nearing another pediatric ward. It will be guarded, Father. Get ready. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal like before. Push the call button and I'll proceed. Ready for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. We must return to the docking platform, Father, now.
You granted Eleanor the will to choose. And now, like a plague, she spreads it to those innocents. To be self-aware is a curse, Delta. You are damning them. your phone. I'm stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start. from her home and family and feed her to a world without hope. Though Utopia may die with her, I would sooner see us fall. Goodbye, Eleanor. Mother will be waiting for you. Here they come, Father. Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil. Water is gone. Release the docking mechanism. The 
The elevator to the lifeboat is flooded, Father. We have to equalize the pressure in here or the door won't open. Destroy those glass tubes to flood the room. Father, the rapture dream was over. You taught me that evil is just a word. Under the skin, it's simple pain. For you, mercy was victory. You sacrificed, you endured, and when given the chance, you forgave. Always. Mother believed this world was irredeemable, but she was wrong, Father. We are Utopia, you and I, and in forgiving, we left the door open for her. The rapture dream is over, but in waking, I am reborn. This world is not ready for me, yet here I am. It would be so easy to misjudge them. You are my conscience, father, and I need you to guide me. You will always be with me now, Father. Your memories, your drives. And when I need you, you'll be there on my shoulder, whispering.
If Utopia is not a place, but a people, then we must choose carefully, for the world is about to change. And in our story, Rapture was just the beginning.